welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Monday, October 25th. We are starting off our day doing a little shopping. We're gonna go into Marshalls because guess what? T minus a week until it is Christmas in my eyes. So I know they have their Christmas stuff out. So we're gonna go do a little check a check it out a little bit. We need to go by the grocery store and grab a couple of ingredients for dinner. It should be a good day. Let's get it started. Let's go shopping. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so excited. Well, I bought a couple of things at the Marshalls. We'll do a little haul when we get home. showed y'all what I picked up at the grocery store in the store but I wanted to share something that I always do so we go through a lot of ground beef in this house so whenever I see that they have you know packs of ground beef reduced I always pick up a pack or two because then I use my little freezer bags I'm gonna freeze these into like two or three sections each and then I will have ground beef I can just thaw whenever I need it, and I save some money on it because ground beef is very expensive. Also, one more thing. I had to buy these grapes that I saw. I have never seen these types of grapes before. They call them moon drops. But look at these things. They are like long and skinny. I have never seen those. So I had to grab them so I could try them because they were on sale for like $1.99. Let's go ahead and do our little Marshalls haul. I went in there with the purpose of buying Christmas stuff, but I really didn't buy much Christmas stuff. So let's do a little run through of what I picked up. So I grabbed some chip clips, not very exciting, but some of ours have broken and I just needed to replace those. Up next, I got this two pack of silicone whisks. I needed to whisk something in one of my nonstick pans the other day and I realized I only had metal whisk, so I bought these. They were like $3.99, super cheap. Just the other day, I ran out of dry shampoo, so when I saw the dry shampoo sitting there, had to pick up a bottle of it. The next thing we grabbed is this expandable collapsible colander, so you can stretch it out and put it across your sink and it stores flat and then you push it out. I'd gotten two of these on Amazon not too long ago, but having an extra large one, I thought would be a great thing to have too. And then the only things related to Christmas that I got was this tablecloth and napkins. I just want to kind of make our table look a little bit cuter because it is not cute. And I'm hoping to replace it soon, but for now I have these cute little farmhouse tablecloths with napkins that match. I am just trying to make our house feel nicer overall. I want it to look cute because it doesn't. It's just kind of cluttered. Nothing really goes together. So very slowly, I have made it a mission of mine to just make the house look better, more cohesive. It'll never be one of those like Pinterest worthy houses, but we can slowly make it a little bit nicer. So one of the first things I've wanted to do is we have a little bar area or we've turned it into a bar area 
and so I want it to make it look nice. The other day we bought those wine glasses on sale at H-E-B, and so today I picked up six of these champagne flutes that were on clearance at Marshall's, and then we got these anchor ice molds. So they're for like, I guess, when you're drinking liquor. I don't know, I don't really drink liquor. Cody said whiskey on the rocks, there we go. But I thought these were super cute to have because you know, since we do all the boating stuff, they had just the plain circular ones. But of course, these anchor ones are the ones that caught my eye. So we picked up two of those molds because they were on clearance. And the last thing I picked up was this little two pack of these black totes. And this is for pantry storage. I bought these to store some fangs in just to keep it a little less cluttered. So there you go. That was my little Marshall's haul for the day. I really want more Christmas stuff though. We're gonna slowly, slowly start working on that. Well, my dad was at the doctor longer than expected, and my brother had a Special Olympics golf tournament today, so I just went and picked him up. You want to say hi? Hi there. Hi there. How was golf today? It was fun. There we go. So, just picked him up, dropping him off, and it sounds like he had fun at his golf tournament today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, let's go inside. It is now 2.11 in the afternoon, and I am quite hungry. I am back from picking up my brother and it is time to make my first meal of the day. I think I'm gonna throw together a turkey wrap. So let me show you how I'm gonna make it. Not believe that it is nearly 2 30 in the afternoon and I feel like I have not gotten a lot accomplished today so I just made my lunch or my first meal of the day I'm about to dig into that answer some emails while I'm eating and I'm also sipping on this pineapple coconut sparkling water that I grabbed at Kroger earlier that is my first meal of the day going to eat this and then i've got to get my little booty in work mode and get some stuff done i turned around and i saw this cutie loving on his stuffed chicken little bobo you look so cute also i had to shave all the hair off of his ears yesterday because i noticed they had a couple of little mats in them and now they look so tiny but it actually looked cuter than I thought it was going to. But look at that sweet boy. You love your stuffed animals, don't ya? I currently have 341 unread emails and I'm about to sit here at my very messy desk, which is on my to-do list to clean this up today. But more importantly, I've got to work on my emails. So I have this coffee shop vibe music on and we're about to get to work for a little while. I'm just wondering if anyone ever has the want to make their pet rabbit into stew because neither do I. I didn't want carpet anyways Rudy. Thank you for the renovation. Even though he is a pain in my butt sometimes, this little dude is pretty cool. Unless he eats my carpet. Right, Rudy? Just went to Home Depot and picked up the rest of the PVC pipe I need for building the chicken run. Yay, we've got all of the fittings. We've got a copious amount of PVC over here. And hopefully the chickens will have a ton more room to roam around and it'll be light enough I'll be able to move it. Also side note, I have another grill. The birds know what time it is. Time for everyone to come hang out. Oh my god. Crazy thing. Go, 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 go. Come on, chicken, chicken, chickies. Come on. 
Since our hawk problem has been so bad lately, I always sit outside when I let the chickens free roam in the afternoon. So I am going to kill two birds with one stone today. While I am sitting out here watching these little cluckers, I am going to turn on my little watch and I'm just gonna walk some laps around the backyard and hopefully I can get like 30 to 45 minutes of exercise while I'm out here watching the chickens. Say hi, Manny. Say hi. Yesterday, I'm not gonna lie, I almost ordered nine chicks that look like her. I love these chickens so much. They're like puppy dogs. I love her and I want more. So hopefully, one of these days, I'm gonna have some more minis. But yeah, let's get to exercising. Right, Minnie? You stink. Your feet stink. I'm gonna press outdoor walk. Let's get going. A certain bird decided that she wanted to join me for my walk. Little Mildred. I swear she does not have a thought behind those eyes. Homegirl is pretty stupid. But I love her to death. Like, is she not just so cute? We love her. And I want more. I'm going to be the crazy chicken lady and have like 100 chickens if we buy this place. So, just be prepared. Come on, Mildred, go back with your friends. All right, we're gonna keep on walking. About a million circles around the backyard later in nearly an hour, I did it. Two miles just walking a million circles around my backyard. I'm a little dizzy, but I got my exercise in and I watched the chickens. I'm honestly feeling pretty good about that. Like four minutes before the sun is supposed to set, I'm about to clean out the chicken waters and it's gonna be their bedtime. The chickens are put away, my exercise is done, and it is time to get started on dinner. The other day we picked up these marinated chicken breasts. They are garlic parmesan marinated. We haven't had a chance to cook them yet, so we're gonna grill these up. Additionally, we're gonna do some roasted butternut squash. This has already been like washed and cubed. It's ready to go because this was on sale for 99 cents at the grocery store. So we're just gonna add a little oil, some seasoning to that. And then I'm gonna make some broccoli cheddar rice. I think that's what it is. I bought some chopped broccoli at the grocery store not too long ago and I've been trying to come up with a recipe to use it in. So I came up with cheesy rice, should be good. So let's get started on dinner. It's gonna be pretty easy to whip up. I'll show you how I'm gonna make it. So this, Cody's gonna grill it up while I am cooking inside. So I'm just gonna throw that back there. Already marinated, super simple. Then for the butternut squash, I'm just gonna pop this bag in a bowl and basically follow the instructions that are on here. Going to preheat the oven to 425, going to add a little bit of olive oil into the squash. Add some seasoning, in this case, Everglades all-purpose seasoning. I'm going to give a good sprinkling of that. Give her a stir, pop her on a foil lined sheet, and just gonna roast until it's done. Very simple, very easy. I love butternut squash, so this is gonna be real good. And yeah, ready for the oven. Simple, easy peasy. For this broccoli cheese rice, I kind of looked up a recipe and I'm just kind of going willy nilly, so we're gonna hope that this turns out. I used up the rest of an onion that I had in the fridge and going to add that to some hot olive oil and let that start cooking. Gonna add in some minced garlic, a good bit of garlic because there's no such thing as too much garlic. And just gonna let that cook for a minute. Now that my onion and garlic is cooked, I have two and a half cups of chicken broth that I am going to add in and bring to a boil. 
Now that my chicken broth is boiling, I'm adding in a package of yellow rice because that's what I had in my pantry. So I'm going to stir that up, add the lid on, and let that simmer for like 15 to 20 minutes like the package says. All right, the chicken's going on the grill. Yum, it's been a while since we've just done some grilled chicken breasts, so this is gonna be good. Now that my rice is mostly cooked, I'm just gonna add in some of this chopped broccoli and stir that in. Cody was on the phone, so I'm popping in for a voiceover, but I just went ahead and shredded up some random blocks of cheese I had in the fridge, some sharp cheddar, and some like jalapeno white cheddar. And then I just went ahead, stirred that in, let it simmer for like a minute more, and it was ready to go. And we just finished cooking up dinner. Cody grilled the chicken and it looks great. This is the broccoli cheese rice. And then this roasted butternut squash is absolutely delicious. I think I may chop up my chicken and mix it in with the broccoli and cheese rice. But y'all, I'm so excited for this meal. Well, it is now 10.48 p.m. and it is just about time for bed. Earlier, the dinner I made was absolutely outstanding. That butternut squash, I forgot how much I loved that stuff. When I had it roasted, it was so darn good. And that cheesy broccoli rice, Cody said it was one of the best things I had made in a while, so... I don't know what that says about my cooking, but it was very, very, very good. And that marinated chicken, it was marinated chicken, you know. But overall, dinner was 10 out of 10. So good. I went and hung out with the bunny for a little while, watched a little bit of TV, and now... I'm about to go hop in the shower and head to bed. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.